Fantastic weather for us today and this uh, February temperature trend continuing with temperatures above average, but we've been dealing with some really cold week as you can see highlighted there. Uh, you know, as we went through Sunday high of only 54, today 69, and we're not done warming up. We will see warmer temperatures on the way for us as we go through the next few days. Actually, we've only seen four days now with temperatures below average. You can see uh, the first alert three day forecast showing 77 degrees tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies on the way. Wednesday, 80 degrees sunny. Skies to mostly sunny, but the surface wind's going to be on the south, southwest at 10 to 20. So we're going to get warm for us 80 to maybe even 82 or 83 in some spots. Thursday, the surface flow turns to the northwest. That's an indication of a front moving through. It's a dry frontal passage. So on Thursday, sunny skies on the way. I told you I'd let you know about that allergy forecast, your pollen report. It's not going to be good. Medium high category going into tomorrow, and then even higher on Wednesday. Warmer air. That allergen, the pollen's able to kind of hang out in the atmosphere a bit more. And stronger winds, and it remains in the high category through the end of the week. Dad, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to be dealing with that. Off to the west. Wanted to show you this big area of low pressure continuing to spin its way closer towards parts of the Pacific Northwest. It is moving its way northeast, so it's still bringing some rain onshore through parts of California, uh, dealing with so much rain over the last 24 hours in some spots, as much as two to three, almost four inches of rain, causing more problems, causing some more mudslides. But we've been dealing uh, with high pressure in charge for us, and the first of the future cash shows we have these spring like temperatures this week, and not a whole lot happening for us. A little bit of cloud cover possibly uh, going in. Into Wednesday, uh, at least this forecast model is throwing some cloud cover, but it's going to quickly get on out of here as we go into the afternoon hours. I still think we'll see sunny skies and maybe a couple of high level clouds moving through. Remember that low pressure? It moves its way northeast. High pressure continues to build its way to the north. Another area of low pressure digging its way over the west coast, but we have high pressure in charge for us, keeping us uh, pretty warm the next few days. After topping out today in the upper 60s, we're now at 62 degrees, and that's the average high this time of the year. So if you step outside right now, that's where we're supposed to warm up to. Uh, so we've been mild today. South winds at 12 holding together. In to tonight, we're down to about 50 degrees. No feels like temperature really to worry about. Uh, it's going to be a colder night tonight down to the upper 30s to the low 40s. So still cold enough that you will need your sweatshirt or that light jacket tomorrow, but then dress in layers because into the afternoon hours, our temperatures, as you saw, warm our way up to 77. Already by noon, we're at 69 degrees with sunny skies on the way. So tomorrow, uh, mid 70s off towards the east sides, but you can see Breckenridge possibly tomorrow up to 85 degrees with sunny to mostly sunny skies on the way. And then looking ahead to Wednesday, uh, 80 around parts of the Metroplex, uh, the west sides of North Texas, 82 to 86 degrees in some spots. So it's going to be pretty warm for our midweek. And then the first alert seven day forecast shows yes, we cool our way back down, high of 75 Thursday. By Friday, only 69 degrees. Uh, we've had a couple of really cold weekends. Don't have to worry about it this next week. And Saturday, 74, Sunday, 79. Then we're back up to 80 degrees on Monday. Morning temperatures all above the freezing mark. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty mild 70 forecast and a dry one for us. So in my book, that means you get in the car, you open up the sunroof, roll down the windows, and take a road trip, Amelia.